Developing tonight, drama in the courtroom. The trial of Paul Scott Bennett began in Pickens County today. He's accused of shooting and killing his neighbor, 39-year-old Robin Jeanette Smith, after she ventured onto his property in April of 2018. Bennett is charged with murder and possession of a weapon during a violent crime, but is claiming his, he shot Smith in self-defense, fearing for his life. The state says Smith was unarmed and Bennett killed her in cold blood. Fox Carolina's Matt Koufax is live in our newsroom with more. Yeah, Tori, people coming down on both sides of this very hard. This case really revolves, though, around the idea of the Castle Doctrine, essentially the Palmetto State's version of Stand Your Ground. This doctrine says a person is allowed to use deadly force without consequence if they are attacked on their property and fear for their safety. This trial is raising a lot of questions about self-defense with people coming down strongly on both sides. Tension overflowing in Pickens County today as a man charged with murder and the friends of the woman he shot relived the traumatic night it happened in April 2018. I wasn't angry and I wasn't threatening to kill anyone. You know, I wasn't threatening to beat anyone or fight anyone. What did you see when you got to Robin's house? Um, chaos, a little bit. Um, the defendant was just screaming at Robin. Robin was hollering back. Paul Bennett told the court on the night he shot his neighbor, Robin Smith, a large crowd he described as a mob repeatedly insulted him, threatening to beat and kill him after he was falsely accused of shooting a dog. What's going on here? Where are all these people coming from? And the crowd gets bigger. And they start yelling louder and more vulgar and more foul. And I kept trying to call the police. However, witnesses for the state say that Bennett threatened Smith and was actually the instigator that night. You said she made the mistake of going in his yard. Did you see that you've made that statement? Yes. Bennett, emotional, said he feared for his life and felt abandoned by law enforcement. Police were called to his home multiple times that day, but investigators said Smith had a First Amendment right to say what she wanted on her property. I was left there. They laughed when they were there. They laughed at me and we gave them the okay. It was okay. Prosecutors told the court there is no evidence Smith was armed or even laid hands on Bennett and argue the shooting was premeditated. You were prepared to use that gun when you loaded it that day, weren't you? I was prepared to defend myself no matter what I had to because the Pickens County Sheriff's Department <coughs> refused to help me. So obviously a big decision for this judge on the horizon. If the judge agrees with the defense and rules that Bennett was defending himself and his property, Bennett will be released and granted immunity from this case in accordance with that Castle Doctrine. If not, the murder case will go to trial. The decision is expected soon and we will update you when we have it. For now, Tori, back to you.